Hello, high up students. I hope you're doing fine. Today, we're going to have another lesson concerning pollution. Uh, previously, we had a lesson about air pollution. We talked about the causes, the effects, and we gave some solutions for this phenomena. After that, we did some grammar. Uh, there were two lessons, the past simple and the past continuous, and we compared between them. Today's lesson is going to be about water pollution. We will begin our lesson with a definition of water pollution and after that we're going to move to the causes and there are two natural causes and man-made causes after that we're going to move to the effects of water pollution on people and on animals then we're going to watch a clip about the gulf war oil spill which took place in the middle east and we're going to find out about the outcomes of this disaster at the end, we're going to give some solutions for water pollution. Now, let us define water pollution. Water pollution occurs when chemicals, waste, or other particles cause a body of water to become harmful to everybody. The causes of water pollution are plenty, but we are going to categorize them into two parts natural causes and man-made causes natural causes are many but we're gonna state the most common ones first of all we have volcanoes when volcanic ash clouds move over bodies of water the water then becomes contaminated secondly we have animal waste when the waste produced by animals is washed away into the rivers, it gets mixed with other chemicals, thus it causes water pollution. Next we have algae. Algae causes water pollution too. It makes the water green and toxic for fish, animals and humans too. Finally we have silt. Silt is another cause of water pollution. When there are floods, silt and clay get mixed with water and they contaminate it. Now let's move to man-made causes. In the man-made causes we have sewage, the use of fertilizers, oil spills and waste dumped by factories. We gave the causes, now it's time to give some effects of water pollution and we will categorize them into two parts effects on people and effects on animals the real question here is that how can polluted water affect people the answer is that many diseases can be spread through that contaminated water and some of these diseases are fever cholera and malaria effects on animals a large number of aquatic animals die every year and that's a big problem because it's contributing to the disruption of food chain thus to the extinction of those animals and now let us take a look at a clip of the gulf war oil spill that happened in the middle east Now, after watching that clip, let us try to give some solutions for water pollution. Only this time, I'm not going to be the one who gives you the solutions. You are going to make some research and 
try to find out some solutions that are best to stop water pollution. I guess that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in class. Bye-bye.